Okay, so welcome back. And of course, we was talking about the singing industry period, you know, and the, and the dedication that you have and where you get started. Um, give us some tips on that. Um, well, I know to be in the singing in any industry period, mm -hmm. um, but the singing, because that's what we're doing. You have to have thick skin. Um, even singing Christian music, mm -hmm. you'd be surprised at the things that we hear, things that get done to us and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And you, we have to realize or we realize that not all the time it's that person um, it could be the spirit that operates within that person trying to cause you to get off your focus or whatever. Right, so right, right. I would say yeah, you got to have uh, tough skin and surround yourself around people who are always going to tell you the truth. Because the higher up you get, your head can get big. We're with the manager every single day that okay. makes us feel like. And I'm saying, how important is the manager? It's the very, it's very important. It's very important. Because you never want a manager that constantly tells you, like, oh, you did a good job. Yeah, you did a good okay. job. You won't grow if you're hearing you're doing good all the time. Yeah. You grow when you're hurt. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Out of pain comes the blessing. Right. So pretty much like you want somebody that's always going to pour into mm -hmm. you and tell you what you did wrong mm -hmm. to change it and fix it. Because the, the fans and the supporters, they won't tell you that because they don't right. see the flaws. Right. You know? Yeah. They don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You have exactly. to be quick to listen, so to speak. You have to be willing to. When someone is in your life that um, wants you to be good and wants you to be great, you have to be willing and eager to listen so that you can learn. Because we wouldn't be here if we didn't listen. Because we... <laughs> Man, if you all could have seen us when we click, first click, got started. Joke. <laughs> <laughs> if you had seen us when we first got started, you know, like, ooh, he got his hands. Ooh, but, you know, <laughs> just listen and follow directions. That is the key. Be willing to follow directions no matter what. I don't care what nobody says to you. Make sure you're the one out of the bunch that you're going to listen and do what you're told. I'm sitting here looking. And when did you guys start wearing the colors? Did you... You know, when the group started, said, so we're going to wear colors? No. no I wore that oh, so <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, It was a transition. I think Yana got her look first. Yeah. And then I was telling my manager, I was like, you know, I don't want to be like this Barbie doll, you know, like I went out, me personally, like I came from like a really rebellious background. Like, you know, I played in church. My father was a pastor. I'm the kid in the back playing. So I wanted to wear something that was like the people in church is going to look at you and be like, dude, like, is she safe? She said rebellious background and she talked about a pastor I did I was like I was the the stereotypical PK that mm -hmm. was me okay it was me so when he was like well why don't you just get these colors and put them in your hair I was modest at first I think I had like one or two colors she was like no if you're gonna do it then do it mm -hmm. and then when we came when we saw it. the rainbow and we was like you know that's it right there so and then Ronnie. Well, it took me a while to yeah. get my look because I went through a whole bunch of getting my she hair did. messed up just to find it. <laughs> right I mean, up. getting my hair cut, people messing me up. But, you know, I'm satisfied with this because it was presented to me um, by a makeup artist and our manager. Oh. And I was like, no, I'm not wearing no mohawk because but you're cute with I've it. always been a girly girl and I like hair. Yeah, right. So she for the good. mohawk, you know, I, I didn't normally like wearing the natural thing, you know, but <laughs> now I'm really proud of it because my hair grows really fast this way. So it's cool. And it's so cool. And it, it always yeah. is a conversation starter when I'm out. Mm -hmm. People yeah. say something about oh, it. And I'm like, awesome. everywhere we go. I, mean, I tell her, all, look, we were in Walmart the other day. And the, <laughs> the guy was like, oh, my God, I love your hair. I said, everybody loves her hair. <laughs> <laughs> he just yeah. thought that was so funny. <laughs> next should be like, where is she? They want to touch it. You want to touch it? Yeah. 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 It's cool, though. I mean, it's fun. And I love it. It draws attention to us. And that's what yeah. we want. We want people to know who we serve. Right. You know? Right. So. And you, you, unique. Yes. Right. Yep. On that note. <laughs> Our stomachs are growling. There's a buzz about a restaurant somewhere. <laughs> oh yeah. yes. Um, we have a new restaurant opening in Stone Mountain, and we have the dates coming when you guys follow us on Facebook backslash Immeasurable Sins. You can follow us on uh, Facebook, and we'll let you know all the details. But um, it's Immeasurable Chicken and Waffle. Um, it's a spinoff. Hold that thought. Okay. Because you're going too fast. We need more about the restaurant. Just throw it oh, out there. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> but when we come back, we hear more about that. And is this the second one? The second yes. One? Okay. Yeah. So we'll talk about that when we come back. And reason